All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be taking a look at the bot Dank Memer, how to invite it to your server, how to get started on using it, and talking about some of the various things that it can do. So the first thing we got to do is invite it to our server, because that's the version of installing it when you're talking about adding bots to your server on Discord. So we're just going to click the giant Invite Now button on their website. I'll link that in the video description, and then we'll select what server we want to put it on. I'll put it on my test server, hit continue. These permissions all look fine. I'll hit authorize. I'll verify that I'm not a lizard, and we're good to go. And so the next thing is it'll pop up on your server, and it'll start saying, you know, it's a little welcome message of like, sup nerds, and it'll tell you that the default pre prefix is please, which is what you type in in order to get it to listen to you. And we can type in please help and it'll give you a list of the various different commands that it has available. So this one's actually got them split into a few different categories. If I pop back over to the website, there's various things that you can have it post via a command, like a random picture of an animal, where you can post cute pictures, duck pictures, ferrets, foxes, geese, owls frogs, cats, you name it, you can post it. They've also got some random images that you can create, like AirPod images. You can also create your own memes through this interface by typing in a command. They've got random memes in all these different categories, like Today I Fucked Up Stories, sequels, prequels, jokes, anti-jokes, all that good stuff. It's got not safe for work stuff. If you want to add that to your server, I have a public server, so I'm going to avoid that. And then some various utilities like enabling, disabling premium, uh, setting up some partner servers, some stats on your server, voting on top.gg to get some extra perks, all that good stuff. I think we'll just start with animals. Let's type in please all. And so it'll give me a picture of a cat, or I could type in, please, goosey, and it'll give me a picture of a goose, or please, foxy. And then, of course, there's also a built-in economy inside of the game where you can go into currency, and you can play a bit of a mini-game where you can grind or fish for items, you can sell them, you can try to get married to other people, you can play the lottery... You can get, like, in-game jobs and buy stuff, sell stuff, rob from people. And I think it all starts by begging for money, where you can get, uh... Oh, I guess I, in this case I didn't get anything, because Shrek told me that imagine being in 2021, GoFundMe is where it's at. And then we can go, like, to the shop, and we can buy, like, uh, please shop. And from here, we can look through all the items that are available. I could buy a fake ID for 10,000 credits or an apple for seven. I think somewhere in here is a fishing pole, so I can tell it to buy me a fishing pole. But it'll tell me no luck. I don't have nearly enough money for that. Do they have, like, a job I can get? Badges, achievements, bag, blackjack, buy, compare, craft, crime. Right, let's let's commit a crime. Please crime. Let's see. Let's go with tax evasion. Everyone loves tax evasion. All right, I saved a bunch of money by uh committing tax evasion. Sweet. I'm guessing sometimes you don't successfully commit the crime and you get arrested in the game. What else can we do? There's like a fun section. <coughs> so for here we can do things like eight ball. Please eight ball. Will I win the lottery? Uh, no, apparently I will not be w winning the lottery, which is unfortunate. And then I have a message. Please message. Oh, and there's, a, an up, there's a new update that just went live for Dank Memer that has some new bug fixes and changes. And we can click here to get the latest patch notes. That's actually kind of cool. It's almost like a proper AAA game with patch notes and everything. Let's type in food porn. Please food porn. That is some good looking food. Some good looking brisket. 
Actually, I like cooking. What else we got? Got some uh, marbled cake. And then we've got some delicious breakfast. Oh, I love it. Good stuff. Uh, what else can we do? Let's see. What kind of gifts can it give us? GIF irony. Oh, the irony. You know what? That's, that's pretty, it's pretty accurate. 110%. And then after that, what's the next section we want to check out? There's games where you can fight people. There's tic-tac-toe and trivia. We can create our own images, but these would have to require me to have planned out an image to create. But you can make your own memes in the image section. We've also got memes where we can do things like... Please XKCD. That's a throwback. Do a lot of people still read XKCD? I haven't checked them out in years. We could do Please Tifu to get like a really long Today I Fucked Up story. And then what else we got? We got comics, Chuck Norris jokes. Oh yeah, everyone loves a good Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris doesn't need an account. He just logs in. That's, that's fair. It's fair. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of the things built into Dank Memer are just simple little mini-games or their broader RPG game that you can play through their interface. They've got a few other little games and stuff, and you can post Not Safe for Work content. Um, I unfortunately don't really want Not Safe for Work content because I have a public server and I don't know necessarily the age of everyone that goes on there, so that's kind of a big no-no. So we're going to use the settings, I believe in order to change that. So let's go to please settings. And I do believe there's the ability in settings to disable things like a whole section. And there's also, if we wanted to, there's a family friendly mode that would allow us to change it to family friendly and not post anything that's sweary or risque. But I think I'll go please disable, not safe for work. Oh, I think I've already disabled it, so I don't need to uh, disable it again. Oh, there it goes. It's already been disabled, so we're good. Um, so yeah, either of those two configurations will allow you to prevent certain things from being used on your server. That way you don't have to worry about somebody posting, like, intense gore or pornography when you have a big public server. If you don't, you can enable that. And some of these, including the not safe for work stuff, are locked behind the uh, premium tag where you can do things like have it auto post memes or auto post not safe for work content and other perks if you pay for it. But yeah, so you can get different things by creating a premium server. I don't really think it's super necessary unless you really need or want the not safe for work features to be fully enabled. I feel like you could just get that stuff for free on the internet if you really wanted to, but it definitely has some nice perks like auto memes. So who knows? Maybe you want that. I don't judge. Um, there's also some various utilities you can get, like you can reset all of your user data from inside Dank Memer. You can see Dank Memer's rules. You can see their website. You can vote for them on top.gg. You can get user information. Uh, let's get our stats. Please, stats. We can get server stats as well, I believe. Or is that server info? There it goes. So the prefix you can also change. If you don't like please, you can just type in the prefix changing command. I believe that's underneath configuration or even the settings. So here you can type in prefix and change the prefix to literally whatever you want. So it's got pretty much every basic meme -y related command so you can be the dankest memer in your part of town. So check it out for yourselves. It looks like a lot of fun. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The links to this bot are in the video description. And I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.